This is a Neato D75 floor cleaning robot that I bought from Best Buy in 2014. It's on its third battery pack. The original one faded. It's nickel metal hydride. I rebuilt the other two at Batteries Plus when I worked there as a battery technician. The third pack is still fully working using subsea batteries. This is when you empty it, you pull this cartridge out. I'm going to drag it to the trash can, pull the filter off, then you smack it around to clean off the filter. You can replace the filter, there's a lot of cat hair there. You bang it out, look at all that detritus funk and dirt falling out of there. Then you simply pop it back in, like that, and then insert it into the unit. And then you click the green button. Once you click the green button, the light, LiDAR, or laser scanner on the top, it's a 2D, um, LiDAR, so the single dimension is spun in order to produce the second dimension, makes an image of the walls and objects in the room that are not the floor, and then it designs a map of how to clean the room, and that's what we're going to see in the rest of this video. This is an incredibly well-made unit. It weighs almost 20 pounds. There's a lot of metal, produces good suction force, and if you want it to work perfectly in your home, you're going to have to configure your carpets and floor objects to work with its path. It was designed to fit under most um, furniture, so the, the clearance tolerance for the thickness of the robot works in many homes. If you have a clean open space without children's toys or electric cords, this thing works absolutely fantastic. Think a uh, retail store floor, or if you live like a museum, uh, it, it works great, and this is the entrance to our overpriced boutique apartment, and it's not perfect. We use the robot periodically to supplemental deep clean the entire unit, because it can get under our couch and other places in the living room better than we can with our stick back. Um, it also does a uh, multi-path, and you can see I'm barefoot. I tend to walk around barefoot when I'm at home. We leave our shoes off at the door or entrance. We don't wear shoes in our home. That minimizes trafficking of chemicals and other pollutants from the outside world. Um, you can see the floor is quite dirty from us coming and going. Meg and I both work. I work as a bus driver, so I'm coming and going every day. But this Nido uh, robot is uh, fantastically well made, and it continues working. Um, I, I have replaced the beater bar in the front and gone through a number of filters so you can bang out and clean the paper filters a few times but after a while they start to smell weird and you can get a replacement on Amazon pretty easily. Neato Robotics is the incumbent to iRobot and their Roomba series so I, I didn't want to buy the, the robot from the biggest player I wanted to give this smaller startup company a try and their, their robots really well made can, compared to the flimsy plastic heavy Roomba units that I was looking at at the same time. I believe this was 400 US dollars in 2014, um, and it's consumed uh, perhaps value equivalent a couple of hundred dollars worth of spare beater bars, batteries, and brushes. Um, so the consumer price index for this floor, floor cleaning robot makes it a premium device. You can see the sticker on the front. We named it Rosie the Robot after the Jetsons as an animated cartoon series from the 70s that I used to watch as a small boy on network television. Uh, she was their uh, maid or cleaning robot, uh, George Jetson's cleaning robot. Uh, their son, Elroy, and dog Astro. Uh, these characters were instrumental in my, uh, working for Sprockets Industry, were instrumental in my desire to pursue technology and to embrace technology. Uh, like the iPhone that I captured these videos on, and then the iMac that I edited the videos on to upload them to YouTube. Uh, all you need to do to make a YouTube channel is have an idea, and a smartphone, and an internet connection. Um, and remember, smartphones even work over Wi-Fi, even if you don't have an LTE or 5G card. So you can just use your smartphone to capture video or, or photos and combine them into a video, and then anywhere in the world, upload them to YouTube.